Hello from Southern California. This is the DealershipNews.com podcast, where we bring you the new and old school insight into the business of selling cars and service so you have the foresight to grow your dealership and stay ahead of the competition. I'm Kelly Kleinman, and here is our show. Today we have with us uh, a Michigan State grad. He, did you hear that? There you go. <laughs> That's the Michigan State fight song. He's a Sparty. And he's from right. Boca Raton, Florida. John Robertson, Senior Executive Vice President of ShipYourCarNow.com. Welcome aboard. Glad to be here, Kelly. Thanks. Truth be told, I'm a Buckeye. It's hard to play that. Anybody else's fight song. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. Excellent. Good to see you. So it's a question I ask everybody. Some of us grew up in the car business. Some of us fell into it. What's your backstory? Well, it's, it's kind of interesting, Kelly. I actually spent a little bit of time in uh, car sales uh, straight out of college. It was one of the first things I did. And uh, I did that for about a year and got a taste of it and then left for 20 years. So I was off doing other things. I uh, got back into automotive logistics uh, just as a uh, startup to start up a call center for a, a third party broker for a company called United Road. Mm -hmm. um, built that out for them. And uh, gosh, once the stuff's in your blood, it doesn't get out. I'm sure I've, I've heard that story before on your on your show. It's just there. Yeah, yeah. You fall into it and you stay into it. That's just the way it goes. It's just the way it goes. But we're happy to be here, right? So absolutely. How long has Ship Your Car now been in business? And what does your network of truckers look like? How are they vetted? Tell us about it. Sure, sure. So, you know, our uh, Ship Your Car Now has been around since uh, about 2010. It was started by our founder, Gavin Kesson. He was actually uh, inspired by a bad experience he had moving a vehicle uh, that he had purchased from eBay, which had just, you know, was eBay Motors was out there and, and doing some transportation. Had a very bad experience with a, uh, with a car hauler uh, and found out that there was kind of a dark side of the car, ha car hauling industry. Uh, at that point, he kind of put that in his belt and said, you know, someday I'm going to do that right. Uh, and it turned out he, he built out a uh, personally owned vehicle move company. So that's what we call it when we move consumer vehicles like that. POVs is the acronym in the business. Okay. And he built that out and uh, spent about five years building that up to be one of the largest POV movers in the United States. Um, had kind of saturated the market and was moving as much of market share as he could reasonably move. Uh, and branched over into a business-to-business -business world. So he really started to move a lot of B2B vehicles, uh, dealers, auctions, remarketing, uh, fleet lease, vehicles like that. Uh, so that was kind of a pivot point number one for them, and uh, that was a big deal. Their, their network of carriers that they had built out moving personally owned vehicles was really unique because uh, they had built out a lot of a lot of carriers that moved less than a truckload, right? So one car from point A to point B, one car from point C to point D. Well, as the industry's changed over the last couple of years, dealerships are now moving more one car from point A to point B. You know, the, the, the old world of shipping a truckload, you know, when I was, when I started up in the business, everything was about get a truckload of cars, get a truckload of cars. If you don't have a truckload, you can't get a carrier to take them. Well, Ship Your Car Now in that history, we, we built the carrier base, over 13,000 strong now, all pre-vetted carriers that cover every inch of this United States, including Alaska and Hawaii and even international, um, that are used to moving those ones and twos and threes. So when it comes to the companies like ACV Auctions and some of the other virtual stuff that's out there that's taken the market by storm in the last few years, we're, we're built for speed. That's, that's our that's our genre. That's our sweet spot. We love moving those ones and twos. <clears throat> so as digital retailing solutions evolve and remote buying models like Amazon, Walmart, and Carvana gain traction, how do you make it easier for a dealer to compete from a pricing standpoint and, and on a dealer's site as well from the standpoint of a, a positive user experience? Well, I think the big thing there is that, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the dealerships, a lot of the traditional dealerships are concerned about all those aspects of, you know, my used car markets, they're used to, you know, uh, hitting the demographics that's within a 50 mile radius, making sure that they've got, you know, still got print out there and those other kind of things that are, that are bringing those people into the lot. And what we're seeing, especially with the younger generation coming on board, they're looking more to, you know, they want to order a car off their phone. I mean, that's their gig, right? There, there isn't, and they don't really care where it comes from. And with the advent of all the 
the super camera systems, you know, like the Black Widow video systems and everything else there going on that, that can take every angle of the car. Buying something virtually like that is not such a stretch for people. So that's where the Carbonas and people like that are coming along in that consumer world. And they're beginning to sell a lot more consumer vehicles that way. What we've done is we've kind of, and this is kind of our, our third pivot point now, or our second pivot point, I guess we'd call it, is to turn, turn the industry a little bit and say, you know what? We're not just about shipping cars. We're about empowering dealerships with the technology that they can ship cars. So what we've done at Ship Your Car Now is we've taken the technology that we've used to move cars efficiently and effectively across the United States, and we're now putting it directly in the hands of the dealership. Why that's great for the dealership and the consumer, we cut out the middleman. The dealership isn't calling somebody to figure out, you know, here's the, I got to find these five different guys to move this car and get a bid and all that work. We'll actually put a system in their hands that either the consumer can access or the dealer can access, and they're going to push a button and ship a car. So it's that simple with some of our solutions. And uh, that's where we're, that's where we're taking the market, Kelly. We're leading with our technology. We move the car for you as well. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get you on a platform that's going to take you to the next day, take you to the next edge, take you to the future, and put technology in every dealership van so everybody can be Carbon. So you're currently working with CDK Global. What kind of feedback are you getting from their dealership base? So it's, I, I love the question. And uh, it's because uh, I almost mentioned CDK Global too, because one of the things we're hearing from them, and I, I heard this just yesterday from somebody, they said, oh, you've already got that built and it's already on the platform. I'm like, yeah, we part, he's, and you partnered with them and you built it and you've got it vetted with them already. And all I have to do is go to the app store and, and click on it. And I can be up in 24, 48 hours. And the answer is yes, you can be up, up and running with a full shipping solution in 24 to 48 hours using our CDK global app that we've built out with them. So you're getting a lot of good feedback, obviously, from the dealer. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. an effective solution and from a pricing standpoint and pricing standpoint and everything. We're 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 very very low barrier to entry for that. It's really you know there's a minimum just to keep the project up and going. Um, but as far as the dealers are concerned, our revenue comes on the side of the shipment, so there's really no direct uh, cost to ship a vehicle to the dealer. So that's a huge advantage to them. And in most cases, you don't always have to do it this way because we're very configurable. We use iframes, we use API integrations. We've got a lot of partners where we're doing a, a full on integration. You don't even know it's us in the background. You, you just click a check mark that says, I want to ship the vehicle for $89.99. And that's us doing the work behind you. But it's all built the way the customer wants to make it work. The CDK Global happens to be primarily focused on us collecting the revenue from the consumer and the dealership just being able to offer that service above and beyond service to that virtual customer. You know, so when, you're, when your cousin Bobby moved to Utah and he, he's not by your Florida dealership and running over and buying his, his you know, used, next used car from you, yeah. it's still no big deal to get that car shipped out to Bobby. We'll take care of it for you and, and uh, it's no problem. Virtual is, is a reality for everybody. Well, the concern is always going to be the condition a vehicle shows up in. So I'm just kind of curious as to what kind of consumer guarantees are afforded a guy like me who's actually bought a car and had it transported across country in terms of nicks, dents, and the usual potential wear and tear. Yeah, so there, there's really two phases to that, right, Kelly? I mean, there, there's phase number one, and I mentioned it earlier. The dealership's camera systems and the pictures that they're taking of these cars at the dealer lots and at, you know, wholesale, whether it's wholesale or dealer or consumer, they're so much better now. The inspection levels and everything, even just three and four and five years ago, we're, we're three times better than we were five years ago on the, the level of, of detail and everything that's going on with those pictures. So, so state number one is, you know, as a buyer, do you understand what condition that vehicle is in when you purchase it? What scratches already existed, right? So that's number one. And that's, that's a lot better for us. We love that. And there's some, there's some great software out there. You know, there's a, a TMS, a, a, a called Super Dispatch that has some wonderful picturing capability in it where the drivers can take pictures at the point when they pick up the vehicle. That's our next phase, right? The driver's got to do a good job of picking, taking pictures, doing an inspection when they pick up the vehicle. So when the vehicle goes on the truck, we know what state it's in. When the vehicle comes off the truck, we know what state it's in. Now, Assuming everything goes right and everybody's got pictures and life's good, that's a non-issue. We walk away. But let's presume something doesn't go right because 
it's it's a shipping it's it's a transaction the vehicle is going to move it's got to go across the country things can happen ship your car now carries this is one of the reasons we vet our carriers they all have to have the appropriate insurance to make sure that's covered and ship your car now carries additional insurance on top of that so that if anything did happen even though we're monitoring our carriers all the time to make sure their insurance is up to date but if for some reason it were not to be up to date Ship your car now carries insurance on top of that, so you're covered one way or another. Well, you've already touched on the technological aspect to a certain degree, but I was wondering how technology has affected the business and what do you see in the future? You know, one thing I couldn't do was track my, my vehicle. I bought something from Boston and it showed up, I want to say five or six days later, but it was like, where is it? Where is it? You know, right? you have real-time monitoring. Yeah, so uh, we're actually uh, we're doing our roadmap for our technology development uh, as we speak. Real-time monitoring is in that. We, we do it today. We don't do it electronically today. We do it the old-fashioned way. We're actually monitoring the uh, pickup. We're monitoring the transition. We're monitoring 24 hours out. And quite frankly, we're talking to drivers directly via phone because guess what? That's the best way to talk to a driver. They don't necessarily have time to answer emails. They don't have time to do those kind of things. So we actually go the extra effort. You as a consumer don't know the difference. You don't realize that I'm doing some manual stuff to make this happen. You just see that your car has been picked up. You see that your car is 24 hours out. Um, but in, in reality, I'm doing some manual stuff behind there to make that happen today. Now, in our roadmap, we're going to put some technology in. There's a lot of controversy over technology on, you know, whether or not you put it on cars and you can track it and, you know, should be people be able to see where their cars is? Is there some security exposures there? Are there some other things going on versus just monitoring the waypoints? So quite frankly, we're, we're talking with some legislatures and some stuff like that to try and determine, you know, what, where are some things going to fall on this whole tracking, uh, 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 mystical tracking ability that everybody wants, right? I mean, there's a reason, there's a reason that, the, that some places don't necessarily give you that. You can't track an Amazon truck. You know when it gets picked up, you know when it's expected for delivery, but you're not going to go to a map and see where it is. There's a reason for that. And we're not sure that that, that it doesn't apply the same to the auto industry. So we're, we're treading carefully before we go too far. But meanwhile, meeting our customers' needs by they always know when the, where the car is, when it's going to be dropped off, when it's been picked up, so that the major points in that transaction are, are covered for them. That makes a lot of sense. What separates you guys from the others in the automotive shipping and logistics business? Well, uh, I think, you know, and, and I've been around the business for a while now, I think there's probably the biggest thing that separates us from everybody else is we truly are starting with our technology. We truly are um, integrating and building out solutions that work for our customers within the software and within the systems they're using today, or we're giving them a system if they want one. And then we happen to move the car too. So it's really more about making that transaction more efficient. I mean, you think about it in the old day, right? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a general manager at a dealership and I, I just bought some units at, at auction. I've got, a, I've got to call four different drivers I know. You know, Bobby's fishing this week. Julie's truck's broke down. What am I, how long am I spending doing all this stuff, right? To figure out where that car is. And then I can't find anybody. So I post it up on some boards and I, I hope some carrier that maybe has the right insurance calls me and wants to do it for the amount of money I want to pay. What if I just check the box when the purchase happens and say, include shipping in this transaction? What if I just rolled the cost of the shipping into the financing package for the consumer? So even that $899 it takes to move across the country to them, it looks like $4.20 on their monthly payment. They're happy as can be to see $4.20 gets their car over to them across the country and it gets there quickly. We charge the right price to move the vehicle. That's what we're about. We start there, then we take care of moving the vehicle. Throw a wash and wax in and you've got a deal, dude. <laughs> I'll tell you, there's some other cool technology stuff we're looking at. There's some, uh, there's some camera technology. We can, uh, some video technology we're looking into for next year to actually put in our driver's hands. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've got some upgrades maybe available to some of our consumers where they can, uh, pay a little extra and we can actually videotape their car being loaded on a truck. So some cool stuff going on there. So there's a lot of technology that, that that's a real broad question, but there's a lot of fun stuff that we can do that uh, we're rolling into our plan for next year to, to keep us out on that front edge with everybody, right? We want to stay ahead of the competition and offer our customers the best. That's what we try to do over here at Dealership News.
So if I'm a vendor, a third party classified site, if I'm a car dealer, yep. how do I contact you? So uh, good, good news is we work with, uh, we work with the lead generators. We work with those guys. You go out to Auto Trader Classics right now. We're right there as the primary carrier on all of their, uh, when you look up a classic car, we love those guys. Been working with them for over a year. Um, and uh, basically you can reach out to us. Go to our website, shipyourcarnow.biz, B-I-Z. Uh, the dot com is our is our consumer website, but for your for your channel here, Kelly, they're going to want to go to our dot biz site. We've got some awesome case studies on there. We've got some live videos. You can see people's integrations and how it actually works in a couple of different real life scenarios we're running today. So people can kind of visualize. Hey, I could see that being on my website. I might do it a little different. You know, I might I might offer the consumer a fast ship button and a slow ship button, so they see two prices as opposed to this website that's only offering one. We offer up to five levels of pricing, by the way, which is completely unique. Uh, nobody's doing that today to, to give, the, give the consumer or the dealer options on how, how they want to ship, kind of the Amazon model. Do you want the prime? Do you want it right away? Do you want the, or is seven days good enough? So we're doing that as well. Um, or they can call me directly, obviously. Uh, uh, feel free to reach out to uh, me, John, at shipyourcarnow.com, and uh, we'll get them taken care of. Folks, that's John from shipyourcarnow.com, John Robertson. You Thank you it. very much. I, I really appreciate you coming on board today. That's all the time we have for now. Go green. <laughs> it is again. I don't know if you're going to a ball this year, but fight on, right? Yeah, we're working on it. <laughs> okay. This is Kelly Kleiman, dealershipnews.com. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you soon. Thanks again, Kelly.